hi and welcome back to the fourth part of this tutorial now what I want to do is to make this button actually work the total button and I'm gonna add some date here and reference number then with the receipt so let's come in here close that see where I have all my variables let me copy this customer reference first and I'm going to paste it right underneath here so as for this customer reference I'm going to set that as follows and that is going to be random random number dot rand int and I'm just going to specify the value or the range let's say that's the range comma so that should hopefully generate the that should regenerate the customer's reference number right within this range and this customer reference number should be a variable inside my text box so let's come right down here look at the look for the text widget for that there we go that is it I've already called that now as for the date variable date one was declared let's see there we go date one so I'm going to add the date one date of transaction so let's come right down here we will have date okay first thing let's run it so that you see the reference how that works let's see okay I should have closed that twice yeah that's closed run it again now what oh, this is lower case all right let's try it again there we go now we have our not random number working that's good now the next thing I like to do is for the date I want to be able to display the date so let's look for dates scroll right down I already have date in place though can see the data up here so I'm just going to copy it and paste it in here and here which means you can always make amendment or change whatever date we have in here so close that let's look for check in and check out there we go check in and check out that's going to be come date one so we can always change that of date number two the checkout one right run that and let's see okay if we have to change this we don't change that okay so that is that so that's the date now the next thing we need to do is since this is just a tick uh, take away bar so I think the date is fine so the next thing we need to now do is for the total itself as for the total I'm going to declare a function let's come up here okay right here in here is fine okay so let me just copy this and change it around paste and that is going to be called let's say cost of item of item that is the name and here declare as follows hey let's copy the customer uh, the reference I'm gonna need that in there because reference will change depend on customers so let's paste that in there as well reference now let's say item let's say item number one equal
equals float and what are we floating is going to be e underscore latte dot get so whatever we have in there okay so latte let me show you where is latte that is it so I've just called it so whatever we enter in there is added so the next one is going to be that of expresso e expresso this one copy that let's go in here so that is item 2 equals float is that dot get and I'm just gonna copy that and speed it up okay and I'll get back to you guys shortly all right that's how it's looking now so let's add all of those up so I'm gonna enter them inside what I'm gonna refer to as price of price of drinks okay equals let's say item one item one I'm going to say multiply that by so one um, twenty close that and we can say plus item two multiply item 2 by 1.05 and so on there so those are all the items in place good there we go so this means return to the next line now let's come down here the next thing is I need that to be inside my subtotal so I already have the variable for subtotal to and total there somewhere there we go there they are so I might as well just copy all of those I don't know if I'm gonna need that copy that and bring it down I don't have total dates so I'm gonna get rid of that I'll produce that so these are the ones that I'm gonna need. Copy. Come right down here. Where is it? Yeah. Paste. And paste. Now let's take care of subtotal. In case of subtotal, that is going to become let's see so for the subtotal let's copy this I'm going to say subtotal of items equals because I want it in pounds and comma string and I'm going to enter percentage there get to two decimal place close that off and percent and that's going to be this total price here and that goes right here there. right that is for subtotal now this will go inside subtotal copy all of that and this will become dot set equals that 
that is the subtotal get rid of this where it is cut them off just rearrange them in order as for the subtotal as for the tabs I'm going to declare another variable I say the tax itself is tax equals I say all of this here paste that in here and let's come in here and just say multiply by 0 0.15 that is the tax okay, close that and close this that will be for my tax and then this tax will come right in here dot set tax all right that is tax taken care of now we need to take care of total for total let's go for total cost total cost tt equals I'm going to copy all of this. Paste that in here. Now, total cost. Let's add another bracket here. This is this. Okay, we want the total cost. Now we now need to convert that very total cost. So I'm going to say TT equals everything here. Paste that in here. And I need to add TT to it. Plus. Because here I've worked out the total cost. All right. So this is actually total tax. Okay, let's change that to tax. All right. Then the very tax is here now. As the tax I added to the cost of rent to get the total cost itself and total cost this one here is now going to be inside dot set there so to find out if this is going to work I'm going to copy this first let's call that inside the button total so let's come right down here button total so it's going to be command 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 equals that right okay I'm going to run it now so first of all let's correct this to get rid of that and here add one more bracket so let's run it and see how it's going to look like run there we go so we'll go for latte and I say two of those that's latte African coffee American coffee and one of those click on to that there we go guys look at that that is working fine so you can get your receipts. Suppose you get rid of that. 
clear rate of the American and that's what we want. Let's see what's gonna happen with that now with the customers reference. There we go and the reference changes as well. Now all that is left for us to do is this will be manually entered and we just need to take care of the receipt. Right. So clear. So all that is left is for the receipt. I'm just going to have to speed that up. This is the cost of everything. So if we bring it down, and that is your receipt there. The receipt is inside the cost as well. There we go. So if you like, you can also add the, the reference, the choice is yours. Or well, maybe we should just add the reference. Let's copy this. I'm going to paste that in there. Let's get the reference. This one. Grab that. And come right inside the receipt here. And just paste that here. So that's the receipt, that's how I've prepared the receipts to look like. So if I run it now, okay, espresso, yeah, click on total, there we go, and that's the customer's reference right there. So with that, guys looks like we are almost done so let's enter details in here i said the name for this customer is paul Oman. an address number one godson first code type captain or pilot mail date yesterday's date mail I'm having okay that and room type that's my room type and the drink I'm having maybe is as follows I want African coffee why not I want one of those let's click on total and there we go guys so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this very very advanced python tutorial and i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now and please do subscribe and thumbs up have a nice day